It's just like life, man. It's, it's the journey. The journey never ends. You will never get to a point where you say, cool, my jiu-jitsu is complete. You know, I, I have mastered jiu-jitsu. There's nothing more I can learn. I think there's not a single jiu-jitsu black belt who hasn't learned that that's not the case. My game now is just being as open-minded as possible and just shaving off all the little imperfections, you know, just trying to get to that that perfect soul role. You know, every time I step on the mat, I want to be, I want to be able to do this when I'm 60, you know? I want to be using almost no strength. I want my timing, my balance, and my rhythm to be so good, you know, and, and that's what I'm always working towards. And if I'm going to make it in this lifetime, I'm not sure, but I'm going to try, right? I don't focus on any one aspect of the game. My whole thing has always just been to take what my opponent gives me. You know, I've never really been a strategist. I just, I just like to see what happens. You know, a Swiss Army knife, right? It's got all those different attachments, all those different blades and corkscrew openers and everything. And if you, if you work on your, your physical abilities, whether it be your conditioning or the number of different movements that you've mastered, or your, your cardio or whatever, you just become a more complex Swiss Army knife, you know, which means you can u be used in more situations or you, you, you can be, um, you can adapt to more scenarios. So for me, Jiu-Jitsu's techniques always come second to improving the vehicle. You know, I was, I was uh, drinking the sacred plant medicine ayahuasca in the, in the jungle a while back and it gave me this vision and it just said, man, teaching jiu-jitsu is a gift you have and you should never waste the gift you've been given, you know, like, and uh, so a few months ago I, I rekindled my, my enjoyment of, of my career and what I do and, and uh, yeah, I think it's a real blessing to, to be able to do what I do. One of my yoga instructors, he speaks of something called Leela, which is I think a Sanskrit word, and Leela refers to divine playfulness. And he was saying how the universe is just playing a game, you know, it's, it's playing a game of itself. Like everything, creation is a game that the universe is playing. And Jiu Jitsu is a life like that to me, it's, it's a, a warlike game, I guess. There are there are warlike elements to it. I mean, if you think about what you're doing when you strangle someone, you're taking him to the point of death, you know, and then letting him, him go. But it's the amazing thing about Jiu-Jitsu is it's a paradox of play and war.